Uh, no matter what, there's no good reason to quit hockey. There never has been, there never will be. And nothing's gonna make me stop playing. As long as I can play, I'll be playing. This is David Kilgore. He's 18 years old and he knows the highs and lows of junior hockey. And he's here to tell us about what being a junior hockey player is all about. Throughout all my playing years, you know, I've played three on three in the summer with some friends, just light contact and got hit into the boards. I was going pretty fast around the corner, a bit warm in there and just my arm snapped, broke my forearm and it, that's hockey, you know. But then again, with two seconds left, my team's up 6-1 and I got the puck in their corner. I'm not expecting some guy to take a run at me from behind, but when that happens, that's not hockey. You know, two seconds left and your team's down 6-1 and you go and take a run at a guy, even in a non-contact league, guys like that are the reasons why people kind of say hockey's so violent and you know, hockey players are bad people and stuff like that. Well, not all of us, just the idiots out there that think they're the shit and can run anybody, you know? David is a walking disaster. Um, he, well, he's dramatic. So we never know if he's serious or not. And then when it is serious, it's like, oh, you feel bad because you weren't sure if it really was or not. Um, he's had more injuries than um, I care for, that's for sure, and many of them head injuries, neck injuries. And I, and I think it's had a toll on, on him overall. It, this last year and a half has been rough on him since his last big concussion. Um, as far as schoolwork, behavior, attitude, um, not sleeping well at night, headaches, everything, it's not good. One concussion was all accidental. I mean, I turned one way, my guy turned the other. We didn't see each other going full speed. He was twice the size of me, probably could have ate me for breakfast, and I got flattened. Hit my head. Don't remember what happened after that until a while, but, you know, all that's, uh, it's going to happen. And obviously, once you start the sport, injuries are going to happen. You know that, or else you wouldn't play. I mean, if you think you're never going to get hurt playing hockey, take off your skates because that's not going to happen. I, I don't know one guy that hasn't been hurt. So in, for concussions, unfortunately, yeah, four of them to happen to me through hockey. You know, I like to say that it's a safe sport and I can enjoy playing it, but at times I get nervous going in the corner thinking, you know, maybe this guy's going to run me from behind me. But uh, you just, you got to battle through it. It's a tough sport. You got to be tough to play it. Then again, you know, I'm not saying that you have to be the most strongest kid just to play hockey. I'm not the most strongest, I'm not the biggest. I got friends that can, you know, destroy me, but I'm still out there playing with them. And, you know, if I get hurt, I get hurt, and I'm going to wait my time, get back out on the ice, and start playing again. I don't like watching my kids play hockey, and I think they know that because I'm always afraid for them. <laughs> Professionals, I don't care, they're making money. <laughs> not being able to play hockey is just not what you want to do. It's you you paid to play and now you're getting hurt out there and you know obviously you're not upset that you're hurt you know you're more upset about how it happened possibly you know for when I get hit from behind I get pissed off you know you hit me from behind it's illegal and now I gotta miss the game or two but um, it's more encouragement because when you get back out there you've missed a while so you, you want to get back out there and you might not be uh, uh, that in tune like you used to be but you're fresh legs and you're ready to go so you get out there make an impact let the boys know you're back. I'd like them out of hockey. I think that uh, I'm spending a lot of money on their education I'm spending a lot of money on hockey and I I'm afraid that someday they just won't have a short-term memory anymore. A lot of reasons why concussions are happening now and people don't seem to realize that is our game's getting a lot faster you know you have less and less time to think about what you're doing you know you get the pass you look up, a guy's coming. Now you got split second. Do you dump it? Do you pass it? What do you do with the puck? All right, you got to prepare yourself because he might hit you, that kind of stuff. So, you know, a faster game, you don't have as much time to think. So you're going in to hit a guy. Next thing you know, he turns. Well, you're there. You're going fast. How are you going to stop? You got to hit him still. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why concussions are increasing. First of all, they're bigger, so they're faster. They're meaner, they're trained better, and I think with all the equipment they wear that they can try more things, they can try more ways to get the puck. Well, when I was young, um, hel helmets weren't mandatory. Um, people didn't wear any guards or protection over their face. There was a lot less um, equipment. The equipment was made of leather, and then when it got wet, it was very heavy. I'm glad to see that they're uh, trying to prevent concussions, you know, especially at a 
uh, younger age. In my first concussion, I must have been way too young to even experience that kind of stuff in hockey. But even in the NHL, you know, this speed is the big reason why concussions are happening. And, you know, it's not going to happen forever. Something's going to come up. They're going to realize how to prevent it. But it's all in time. And obviously, there's going to be a rough patch, but everyone has those days. So. Behind the bench.